recruiting workers has undergone a huge transformation with the pandemic, and it's not all positive. And it's not going back to normal, it seems. With change comes challenges and a reinvention of how you do business. With us today to talk about this topic, this important topic, is Bud Summers. He's the Executive Vice President of Operations and Training at PuraClean. Bud, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really glad to be here. So we have a few questions for you, Bud, and I, I know the industry is going to really value this, this content and the tips you're going to provide. Uh, tell us what you've seen with trends over the years when it comes to finding and hiring employees. Well, I, it's a great question. I think one of the things that we need to say right from the start is it's been a consistent problem. It's if whenever I talk to franchise owners and over the years, and, and even when I was running my own restoration company, the biggest complaint that we had was finding good people. Uh, the, the thought process years ago was, well, it's because of the type of work it is. But I really don't think that's ever been an issue. I just think it's creating a culture that people are going to respond to and that, that they're going to feel like they can be a part of. You mentioned culture. So tell us about company culture and how that plays into recruiting and hiring. And how did you folks at PuraClean create an attractive company culture? Um, starts with a mission statement. From my perspective, you have to create, uh, well, you should. You should create a statement that represents who you are and what you do. I think especially uh, in situations where you have uh, multiple generations within the same company, you may have a boomer who's running it, or it may be a millennial who's running it, but either way, there has to be something that everyone can rally around. And so defining something that you stand for, um, a great book that talks about some of that is the book, Good to Great. And he talks about what made companies successful and what didn't. And culture and defined mission statements were, were a key component in making that happen. So, but in the past, I think we all could agree that maybe raising wages and offering more money and incentives got results. You could find good people that way, but that's not working as well as it used to. Why is that? Well, uh, it, that is absolutely true. Um, I think because millennials are the largest workforce in the country right now. And quite frankly, they have different goals and desires than boomers do. Uh, boomers in the past, if they were in a career path and they knew they were going to get regular raises and they were going to acquire vacation days and maybe, you know, get a family and, and buy a home, those were the key priorities. That's just not the case today with millennials. And so we found that, uh, some of the things that we've been able to do is provide essential training and online training. And quite frankly, that's been one of the reasons why we've attracted some independent restoration companies that have decided to join PuroClean because of the amount of training resources we can provide them in a way that's easily accessible. Uh, the reality is that uh, the millennial generation is used to doing a lot on their phones. And if training isn't set up that way, they're going to struggle with it, uh, not struggle with being able to absorb the content, but struggle with having to take the time to absorb the content. You mentioned uh, generations a couple of times and millennials. So how do you view and work with the several generations of workers there are with millennials being the largest workforce out there? I think the key is to uh, eliminate what I call the uh, generational stereotypes. If we were to sit down and, and talk to a bunch of boomers, they would have some pretty strong generalizations about what millennials are like. Um, and if we were to do the same thing with millennials, they'd have some strong opinions about boomers. But if we're honest, uh, the statement that I learned years ago from one of my mentors is the problem with generalities is that they're generally right or generally wrong and you can't tell the difference. So to make a statement about millennials and say, well, uh, they don't want to work hard or, um, you know, they don't care about raises. That's not true for every millennial. There are a lot of them that are very uh, focused on making money because they're trying to pay off school debt or they have other goals and desires. So understanding that culture drives it, you have to look for ways to uh, uh, reward and provide uh, career paths for all of your employees. And that's an important component, it has to be there. Again, that's one of the reasons why 
Um, we have defined career goals and paths for every PuroClean employee so that they know that if they start out in an entry level position, there's a path for them to go on to improve. And, and part of that improvement uh, may be a reward of flex time. We found that that's been really effective with the millennials. We have a couple offices now that are uh, having their people work four 10 hour days. And so they're guarant their employees are guaranteed three days off in a row. And by flexing that schedule around so you have the coverage that you need, it's been pretty successful. And we found that some of the millennials are willing to work for that schedule for less money than they were getting from another restoration uh, owner or contractor. So I have one more question, bud. What type of system should a company consider that will consistently provide great results? It's got to be online. Whatever training you're going to do, it needs to be online. The wonderful thing about the millennial generation is they have learned to use their phone from a very early age. And quite frankly, once they see something, they believe that they've shared in that experience. So for training, that means once they watch a video on how to set up a piece of equipment or how to greet the customer or how to do uh, scoping of a job, once they see that, they feel as if they've done it. For boomers, it was take my hand, follow me, do what I do. But with the, uh, the other generations, once they see it, they feel that they've accomplished it. And if you don't have that, you need to find it somewhere because that's going to be a key component in keeping your employees. Um, this is a great time to be in restoration. I guess the one closing thought that I would say is more than anything, one of the key components that everyone wants is they want to feel like what they're doing makes a difference. So when you can convey to your employees that you are making a life change and you are saving somebody, you are helping someone in from their perspective, what could be the worst time in their life, whether they've had a fire damage or a sewage damp, water damage, you're helping them. And we can take great reward in providing a service that helps them get back to their life again. Everybody's busy. Every single customer says the same thing. This couldn't have happened at a worse time. We in the restoration industry have the opportunity to be their go-to solution at the worst time.